We all love those moments of sitting down to watch a great film. As videographers, we often get inspired and start dissecting the technical elements that make up a film, from wardrobe and makeup, to lighting and color grading. You've probably noticed how color shapes the way we feel about a scene. It sets the mood, supports the story, and gives us a glimpse into the character's emotions, all in a visual format. Different film genres tend to use colors in very intentional ways to match their tone and storytelling style. For example, action movies often lean on high contrast, bold color combinations like the iconic teal and orange. These colors create energy, intensity, and a sense of urgency that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Melodramas and romance films often go for a softer, warmer tone. Pinks, purples, and oranges colors that invoke emotion and intimacy. Like in La La Land, where the purple-orange palette feels dreamy and romantic, helping to pull us into the character's love story. There are the quirky and stylized films, something that you can instantly pinpoint to a particular mind. Like Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel, which uses playful, unexpected color combinations like pink and green to create whimsical, almost storybook-like feel. These are all great examples of something resembling split toning. It's a simple technique where we color the shadows, midtones, and highlights differently to create a specific look or emotion. Directors and colorists often reach for color combinations that just work. Complementary colors, like teal and orange. This combo is bold, high contrast, and visually striking. Analogous colors, like yellow and green, these create a gentle, natural flow. Triadic colors, like red, blue, and yellow. They feel vibrant and adventurous. What all these combinations do is simplify the color palette of the image, creating a more impactful visual, getting rid of as many extraneous elements for a more deliberate approach. And today, we're going to recreate some of these popular looks using Color Finality Pro a color grading plugin for Final Cut Pro. We'll assume your footage is already converted to Rec. 709 and balanced for color. From there, it's all about that story you want to tell. Is it a drama, thriller, or is it a romance? The color wheel will be your best guide in pick and shade that fit perfectly. Okay, let's start with RGB curves. This is an incredibly flexible tool that gives you precise control over color and tonal ranges. Here, let's create something like a teal and orange look using complementary colors by adding two RGB curves layers. You can put them into a group for convenience. It's easy to create as many layers as you need for your idea to flourish with Color Finale 2 Pro. Keep one of the layers in master plus RGB mode. This layer will control contrast and saturation. We bring the highlights and shadow areas further apart, which can be done with a classic S-curve. Option click is a handy shortcut to add these points automatically. Now set the second layer to Luma Preserving Mode, which maintains image brightness when other values change. This layer will control color instead of contrast. Let's look at the curves. Shadows are at the bottom, midtones in the middle, and highlights at the top. To recreate one of the complementary split toning color styles in this particular video, such as teal shadows and orange highlights, we need to push the green curve up at the very bottom to add green to the shadows. Shape the curve by adding more points to it to target specific areas. By also pushing the blue curve up in the shadow areas, we mix green and blue to achieve a teal shade. Let's have a look at the vector scope. We've got a straight line almost opposite cyan. Next, add more red to the midtones to work on the skin tones. You can use a color picker to choose the tone more precisely. If the skin appears too red, add green to the midtones to balance it out. This is why we use a Luma preserving mode. It adds color while preserving the brightness of the image. If the effect is too strong, adjust the layer's opacity. Also, don't forget to fine-tune the look with your balance layer to achieve the best result. 
Note that our split toning esque effect obviously isn't limited to just teal and orange. You can apply any color palette you want. The second method to achieve this kind of effect is to use color wheels. We want to recreate a split toning look with green shadows and yellow highlights. So let's create another group with two color wheel layers in it. Here, we want to apply the inside outside technique to gain more control over shadows, midtones, and highlights. Apply an image mask to the group. Then, change the display mode from the result to composite mask to see the mask. Adjust the black, gamma, and white parameters in the input level section to highlight only the midtones and the highlights. Now, by using the image mask, we've separated out the highlights and some of the midtones. Now we can use this layer to target the highlights and midtones to add a yellowish tint. Perfect. The next step is to apply the invert parent mask mode to the second layer, which is set to affect only the shadow areas, which is indeed what you see when we push the lift wheel toward green. By the way, if something is off, you always have the ability to further refine the image mask to achieve a more refined result. We also have a conventional look LUT and a log wheels layer below that. We're using this log wheels layer to better balance our footage before it gets put through the LUT. You can easily return at any stage of the color grading process and work on the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Look at the vector scope. We've achieved a split toning effect. As you can see, we've only got green and yellow colors. Not too bad, eh? The final option we'll explore is a new Color Atlas tool, introduced in the most recent update of Color Finality Pro. It should be familiar if you've ever used gradient mapping tools in Photoshop or Affinity Photo. Color Atlas maps colors to specified tonal ranges of a video image. The left side of the color gradient editor represents shadows, the right side represents highlights, and midtones are in the middle. Here, we want to recreate a triadic look with blue, red, and yellow. Click once on the gradient editor to add a point in the shadow area. Then add another one in the highlights area to see the split tone emerge. Adjust the colors using the HSL controls below. Make shadows blue and highlights yellow. This is just a starting point, so let's shape a more complex gradient to achieve the desired result. Take a look at the vector scope. Add one more point to the shadows. We would like to make the darkest zones of the image completely black to create a transition between blue and black. Then, let's add a red point in the midtones. And again, fine tune their color using the HSL controls. Take a look at the vector scope. Now it resembles more of a triangle. However, the image might still look like a duotone effect. Simply use a blend mode such as overlay or soft light to apply the effect correctly to add an instant punch of contrast. Adjust the intensity with the opacity slider and don't forget to play around with the balance layer to fine tune the result. As you can see, this is the fastest and easiest way to apply split toning or an effect that starts off with split toning. You can set any color of any tonal range. We hope this tool will become a go-to in your color grading arsenal. But notice there's a bit more saturation in certain areas of the image that you'd like. You can fix that. So one final touch could be adding an HSL curves layer in saturation versus saturation mode. Now you can further control the amount of saturation in the highlights or shadows. You're also free to add any other layers to complete the look. What's more, Color Finale 2 Pro also includes powerful film emulation tools. So if the project demands it, you can easily add the organic and old-school look using halation, bloom, and film grain in the inspector. Well, we hope you learned something new about the split toning techniques and how to recreate this very old technique in Color Finale 2 Pro. And also how you can use the concept of split toning to apply a color grade to your videos. Download this free 7-day trial and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.